Hey guys. So I thought I'll um, show you guys my fragrance collection. Mm, so this is my fragrantica profile. If you guys are curious. Uh, so America is my name. And uh, so this is what I've... Uh, I just uh, took some time and kind of rearranged this because I've been uh, smelling lots of fragrances in the past two days. Like I put out ads on Facebook, uh, Fragrantica page, uh, sorry, Facebook Marketplace uh, thing ads, and I've sold lots of fragrances. I'll tell you, like quickly uh, browse through these so that you understand. Um, zoom in a little bit, okay? So, these are the fragrances that I recently saw, like till here. So, the, these ones starting from here, it's been a few months uh, since I either saw these or gave it away. So, Ambre Nui, it was a bit too powdery, and this one I didn't even like as I wanted. Sp spice Bomb, it was a bit spicy, but uh, it, lacked, it, it lacked that sweetness. Dylan Blue, uh, nothing special about it, and uh, Profumo, it, it smelled like eucalyptus water to my nose, so I had to sell off. This one, uh, this one was like very old. These these fragrances I used uh, like for many years ago, I don't even remember. And uh, Owl Lemon Mint, um, something about the coriander, I think it uh, it was messing with my mind. And Fahrenheit it smells like a dirty mechanic, as, as someone pointed out in the in one of the Facebook groups. This one um, I gave it away to one of my uh, flatmates. Although this is like my favorite fragrance, Remy Lato cigar. I'll, I'll I'll I plan it to buy it one more once more. It, it's a very musky kind of a fragrance. It's a nice fragrance. And this one I sold it to one of my colleagues. It, it didn't work well on my skin. Devin, I gave it away to one of my friends. Savage, again, I gave it away. This, again, I gave it away to one of my friends. Vetive, again, I gave it away to one of my friends. And uh, yeah, this as well, I gave it away. So all of these ones, like Shagui, Leighton, uh, Prada Lumin, Tense, Tobacco Wood, Alon Santi Kerala. See these ones. Uh, I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fragrances. I I've, I've sold in the past two days. I'll maybe tell you the reason why I sold them. That is why I'm making this video. I just uh, to show you guys my collection, current collection. This is my current collection. I'll come to that. And uh, the reason why I sold these fragrances. Uh, Go one by one from here. Chagui. Chagui. Uh, I bought it because uh, I read reviews about it uh, saying it's uh, similar to Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford. I didn't find it uh, that similar. And on top of that, it it uh, it's even smell wise. Uh, on my skin, it, it wasn't uh, like it, it's. I think it. it it, it started to turn powdery or I don't know what it is about it I, I didn't even li I didn't like it that much I'm sorry enough later since the time I bought it I was never a big fan it was a bit too sweet for my taste and fruity I, I, I don't like that kind of fragrances in the past few months I think my taste has changed I'm not uh, gravitating towards fruity fragrances I, I for some reason I don't know and this one uh, Intense is a bit too icy. I, I, I don't like powdery fragrances, that's the reason. Nothing about the fragrances. Like all of these fragrances, they are nice fragrances, just that it's a, it's, a, it's a matter of taste. And then tobacco, ooh man, this is a way too heavy. And I like I never found any occasion uh, uh, when I can wear that fragrance. Doesn't suit my personality either. And Lonstar de Guerlain, I bought this because I read reviews about it saying that it would uh, smell like uh, Nasamato Paron. But on my skin, it, it uh, turns uh, 
like uh, it smells like a condensed milk which uh, I, I didn't really like on the other hand I'm wearing Nasamato Padam now and it doesn't happen with Nasamato Padam because probably because of the oud it's a beautiful fragrance Padam and then Lom Ideal it's a nice fragrance it's a very sensual fragrance uh, I've, even, I've even listed it in one of the like a central, one of the most sensual fragrances categories but I think on my skin it um, not not just on my skin it, it smells a bit feminine so I, I since I I also have the extreme version I thought I would sell this off nothing like nothing bad about the fragrance I like Gelan fragrances they are very nice and uh, this one again it's a nice fragrance nothing special it's a it's a beautiful fragrance but I think I'm, I'm, I'm done with vanilla right now because I, I have way too many fragrances that have vanilla in it and I'm bored of vanilla dominant fragrances that's the reason dear on perform man I made a whole video about it it doesn't last at all on my skin hardly one hour and becomes a skin scent sad so dear Savaj elixir again nothing special about it um, I mean, it, on my skin, it it didn't it doesn't last long. That is also one of the reasons. Although the smell itself is it has a certain depth and it's nice, but my skin is a bit weird. It it, it uh, uh, I mentioned this is many of my earlier videos. Uh, I have hyperhidrosis and um, the warmth on my body is relatively higher than. Uh, normal individual all those reasons contribute to the, the washing away of the fragrances very early I guess and the uh, spice bomb I have, I'm not a big fan of spices because I grew up with spices the spices remain of kitchen so spices is not something that I find exotic as opposed to someone from the western part of the world yeah, it smells like a kitchen you know chai shop uh, that kind of uh, nothing bad about it but just that I'm, I'm not I'm not liking overly spicy fragrances in the recent days earlier I used to like it uh, but not anymore now I'll show you guys my collection now though I have this in my collection half of the fragrances I've already put out ads and I'm planning to sell it off I'll tell you which ones so I'll maybe rearrange the ones that I want to sell and the ones that I don't want. So I've arranged this in the order that I bought, but then let's rearrange it, right? So okay. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is the most important. And uh, oh no, 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 no way, no way, no way.
Mm. So I've rearranged most of the frags, I guess. Okay, the fragrances that are starting from here, right? These fragrances till here, no, not this. Uh, so starting from this Ortho Parisi Bergamask and all the way till the end of the Yeah, all of these fragrances uh, I would be selling if uh, someone is willing to buy. I'm going to be selling these fragrances, the ones that uh, that are here, starting from here. I may not sell for for some reason or the other. I'll tell you why. This is, uh, is hardly twenty dollars. Uh, I won't get much from it. Same thing here. Same here. Same here. Same here. And this one, I only have a ten ml bottle. Same. This one I already put out an ad, right? So why is it here? So this one, this one, this one, these three I've already put out an ad. So maybe I will move this over here. So this one as well. This one as well. Yeah, so starting from, okay, the Gucci Guilty Absolute, all the ones uh, here, I'm going to sell, just because they don't suit my personality. Gucci Guilty Absolute is a beautiful scent, nice, uh, classy wood, uh, doesn't suit my personality. Same here, this one, I'm planning to buy 24 gold instead of this because I, I've heard this press smells pretty much like it, but no one is willing to buy this. No one even offered me to, no one even pinged me after I posted the ad. So, looks like it's not really, not a very popular fragrance, but I, I really liked it when I tried it at J.V. Jones, so I bought it right away. I'm getting a few um, guys pinging me, but again, uh, hopefully I'll sell it. This one, hardly anyone has uh, pinged me to inquire about it. This one is a... Uh, it's a very experimental kind of fragrance but doesn't like um it's not my uh, taste it's it's more for collectors than for uh, people who want to smell good it's a, it's a unique uh, fragrance and this smells a bit generic for me i've already promised one of my colleagues that i will sell this to him this one again nothing special about it is just uh, it has a very vegetal smell about it i i expected it to smell piney it has that piney element as well, but it just smells a bit vegetal on my skin. So, and I don't like uh, like smelling like a kitchen. Uh, not exactly a kitchen. It's it has some vegetal smell. Some I don't know what to say. Uh, how to say that? And this one again is a nice fragrance, just that doesn't suit my personality. Same this. Uh, it, it's it has a bit of a gothic uh, feel about it, but not my cup of tea. Sandra Bossi again, it's a bit generic. It's a uh, way too popular now. I don't want to be, you know, just one among the hundreds of guys who wears that. Abit Rouge doesn't last at all on my skin. I just bought this just out of curiosity as to know how, how it smells like. I'm done with it. Uh, but like people, I don't think they're willing to buy. They don't want to buy it. It doesn't seem like a very popular fragrance. Now these fragrances, even out of these fragrances, uh, you know, say for example, this one is like a 10 ml, as I said, that is why I won't uh, sell it, these ones. But now let's talk about the other fragrance. Uh, same thing goes for this as well. Now let's talk about these fragrances. These fragrances are something that I didn't genuinely like. So 
lovely girl, very sensual, beautiful. Vetiver, again, I, have, I think I have posted an ad for Vetiver as well. Uh, I'll be sorry, because it's not, Vetiver is, is, is a, there's not many ways that you can do a Vetiver fragrance. Like Vetiver is Vetiver, it, it has a very, um, it has a definite uh, scent profile and you cannot escape that no matter how hard you try and blend it with the other notes. So it's going to be yeah, a vetiver dominant fragrance. It's obvious. This is how vetiver smells like and vetiver doesn't have many facets as well either. Uh, like patchouli because patchouli has this chocolatey um, patchouli and this and that campfire's patchouli and all that. But vetiver, I don't know. It's uh, so... I think I'm, I'm getting a bit bored of that as well. Although I have Nishani Sultan very well, so I thought like this was a bit redundant. So I'm I'm gonna sell this. This uh, Dolce Gabbana Pour. Oh man, it's a very unique uh, fragrance. I've never come across any fragrance. And it's a bit classy and mature and sophisticated as well. So I'll keep this. And Isimiyaki All and Song is a discarded fragrance, and it smells so dark and deep and beautiful. I have uh, the kind of, uh, um, I, it's a very, very dark fragrance and it has the, mm, yeah, it, it's uh, difficult to explain. It's a very unique fragrance and I won't sell that at all. This is one of my all-time favorites, Bottega Veneta. It's like my dumb reach uh, go-to fragrance, so I won't sell that. Nazamato Pardon, no, not at all. It's a very dark, uh, all of these are like my kind of fragrances, so I'll, I'll probably keep them. And this is one of those fragrances that lasts more than 12 hours on my skin as well, so. Bordigeur, man, Bordigeur, I'm like a uh, cat on the wall now. Uh, I don't know, I might sell it as well, because it, and I like the smell. But it, it... <sighs> See, uh, in my video, in my um, unboxing video, I would have compared this to Denim Musk, right? Denim Musk, uh, it, it smells pretty much like Denim Musk, but the issue with uh, Bourjois is, and that is one of the reasons why I like it, but the issue with Bourjois is, it, it smells a bit powdery, it doesn't have that musky aspect that the Denim Musk has. By musky, I mean, you know, this kind of fresh ozonic uh, feel about it. That's what makes Denim Musk beautiful. Although it smells very, very synthetic, I, I don't like it. I don't like that aspect about it, but the smell itself is such a beautiful smell. Now, I'm trying to find out a fragrance that smells like that, but really good quality and proper uh, uh, fragrance. I, I haven't come across anything, but if you guys know, uh, just let me know. So this one, since it turns powdery on my skin, I'm, I'm like a cat on the wall, I might sell it. Sultan Vetiver, probably one of my favorite videos, I won't sell it. Killer fragrance, just one spray, and it lasts for like a very long time. Gucci Guilty Absolute is one of those fragrances, you know, these this leather fragrances, uh, very few, one of the very few leather fragrances that I really like, like leather, uh, dominant fragrances and it and it has vetiver and patchouli as well it's a beautiful take it's a beautiful blend of leather vetiver and patchouli it's a unique uh, fragrance so i would sell it this one it's it's a fresh fragrance it's a nice soapy fragrance so i don't have anything like that in my collection so i'm planning to keep it ah uh, this is another sensual caramelly mandarin fragrance this is such a beautiful fragrance it's a very unique fragrance as well i don't have anything like this in my collection so I'll keep this. One of Gerland's best. I won't sell this. Oh, this Elamai in this man. It's such a beautiful. It, it's again my my go office fragrance. I would say it's like it's like uh, the fragrance I I reach out to a lot and I'll be wearing a lot more to the office. It's a very nice friendly fragrance, inoffensive, very modern. Not, nothing like uh, you know old school fougere or uh, 80s fragrance nothing like that it's a very modern fragrance and it's very office friendly it's very formal kind of scent i really like it this is a killer this is like uh, i have to be in a mood to wear this but it, it, it's nothing like anything i have again it's a very dark and uh, beautiful oud iris fragrance nothing like that i have in else in my collection this i have uh, already made uh, a video where i mentioned five fragrances for life and these two fragrances are there in that collection so 
never uh, never gonna get rid of these two I recently were well, only today I got pardon I'm in love with it beauty beauty beautiful it's beautifully developing on my skin an incident diplomatic although I don't have it now uh, it's on the way a place in order such a nice fragrance it's a multifaceted uh, with patchouli combo beautiful fragrance and these are the fragrances that I want to buy so I've I bought a sample of Ambra Calabria I have it on my hand right now hmm it smells amazing there's this musk in this so initially in the first five minutes it was uh, it smelled like uh, you know fresh uh, neroli or jasmine or uh, fresh uh, green kind of smell like white floral slash green smell within a matter of 10 minutes right there's this beautiful musk that start started to play hide and seek on my skin hmm? and i'm in love with it i most probably would would buy this and this one i'm yet to try i don't know i'm i'm seeing real nice reviews about it i'm planning to buy a sample but it's not that easily available i need to find out a place where i can get a sample of this bulgari yeah man this uh, it i've never seen a fragrance that had such a unique combination of notes and uh, yeah it, it, it the the moment i saw the notes right i was uh, like confused and uh, uh, perplexed at the same time, wondering how this would smell like patchouli, jasmine, sabak, and incense. Who, how? I, I, I need to try this. I, I need to like I, I'm trying to get a sample of this, but I'm not able to. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll do a first impression video on that. Bakara, sure, I've already tried. Uh, um, sampling it and I really like it it develops beautifully on my skin it doesn't get that sweet it has this transparent airy feel about it so I mean I'm, 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 I really like it so I'm, I'm planning to buy that as well so and most of these frags as well like I, I've decided to get rid of the frags that don't suit my personality as I mentioned already and the ones that I currently planning to have right that, that are not that heavy uh, except for a few maybe like uh, Black Iris and uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute and Sultan Vetiver and maybe uh, Orange Sans. The other frags are all a light, uh, you know, light hearted, uh, not that heavy fragrances. So I'm, 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 I don't know why I've been gravitating towards that kind of fragrances in the recent times. So the ones that I <coughs> bought earlier, if you notice, those are all bit heavy fragrances this this one is heavy and many of the ones that i uh, got rid of uh, mostly heavy fragrances but i think my taste is totally changing now um, and then these fragrances this colonia mira Kori Parma colonia mira i have a sample i am yet to try it i have a feeling i like it but um can't say for now and there's this fragrance called Bandit Supreme. I just uh, was going through some Facebook post, or I don't know, I was just. And this again has a killer uh, note composition. It's leather, mossy, green, exact, something uh, what I really like. And this dude, uh, Aurelian Goshan. Look at the note breakdown here, right? I have a feeling it'll, it's going to smell very, very green and, and, and the name Bandit, it, it's, uh, <laughs> and it's supreme, right? It's something that I need to try, definitely. And uh, supreme leather. I, I'm yet to try this as well. So, Rafflorin, no. Fragrance net. Twenty dollars. Are you kidding me? Are you 
to travel spray. Oh. Okay, why not? Yeah, maybe I'll uh, I'll see because this this fragrance it uh, it, it takes more than a month uh, uh, to deliver to my address. I don't know why. So maybe I'll, I'll see somewhere else if I can find that fragrance. So okay, um, so this is my signature fragrance, and these are my current favorites as of now. I'll, I'll maybe add one more here, Incident Diplomatic. Change. On Sedant. Diplomatic. Right. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know what is your favorite and uh, what fragrances uh, that you had to sell and what 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 do you have in your what are the top five fragrances in your collection? Just pick me, add a comment. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Bye bye.